Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and this is a new series. It's called Yoga Talks and well, we talk about different questions that you might have and also is the common questions our students have. So I hope this is helpful for you and please let me know if you want to talk about something specific. Help me please to get more uh, content for you. So today we're going to talk about that everybody say all the time. Every, t every time I ask to somebody like, uh, oh, do you do yoga? Would you like to do yoga? And say, oh, no, no, yoga is not for me. I'm not flexible. And everybody have that stigma about that you have to be flexible to do yoga. Okay, so you probably are related with that. So it's important that we understand that the people who, uh, who are not flexible are the ones who most need yoga, or we most need it. Like I me, mean, I'm not a really a flexible person for nature or for my genes. Like uh, sometimes I see people who come to the studio or my classes and say like, oh, I never did yoga, it's my first time, and they are super flexible. It's like, oh, wow. I mean, I have to work every day, every day to maintain my mobility and my flexibility. So that is something that some people have. Some people by the genetics, they are flexible. And some of us, we need to work towards our goals. So what is important here? Doesn't matter which flexibility you have, yoga will help you to develop flexibility. But at the beginning, we are really, really um, desperate to get into poses, to be flexible. And I remember sometimes people ask me like, uh, um, how long is it going to take me to do a split? Or how long is it going to take me to uh, put my leg behind my head? You know, stuff like that. And it's so difficult to answer because the answer might be like, uh, it depends. It depends of your genes. It depends of your training as well. Like uh, there's different ways to approach to yoga, but there are different goals. Like uh, some people really want to have full mobility and full flexibility of the body to do fancy poses like split or, or king pigeon. But some other people just wanted to stretch something that doesn't have in their normal, normal routines or in your exercise routine. So what happens? So when we do exercises, any type of exercise, running, cycling, whatever we do, our muscles become stronger even in the gym. As stronger is the muscle, as tighter is the muscle. So when the stretches of yoga and the exercises and the poses of yoga, it helps us to lend the muscle, so it will help us to have more mobility or more range of mobility in our joints. And that's the importance of yoga. Some people, it does, I love when the people say like, I don't care, I just want to stretch my body because that is the goal to lend our muscles. More if you are sitting all the time, standing all the time, and also if you do a repetitive exercise. So that is the, that is the reality. Depends how much or how long we lend the muscle, that's the flexibility we're gonna gain. So for example, if I go to yoga classes just one, once a week, or I practice yoga once a week, while the muscle have certain stimulation, it will help us don't, don't take a run, but it won't develop that super length at the end of the month or at the end of the year because it's too short the time we stimulate that. So it's recommended to three times, four times. Of course, what I really always say is like a Every day, every day we need to do something because imagine every day you stand and go up the stairs, you are sitting and what happened with that? Your muscles are working, your muscles are getting tighter because even just be standing, your glutes, your thighs, your core is working, is contracting. So every day our muscles contract, every day our muscles work and that is that we have to understand how many hours of our muscles are contracting and how many hours a day our muscles are stretching. So it doesn't have balance. Some of us, we don't stretch at all. Some of us, was once a week, which is not bad, you know, it's good. But if you really create this routine of every day, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just the poses you like, the poses you feel comfortable for your back, for your legs. Of course, it's important the pose stretch. As a fitness instructor, I know that the class, when you create a class for your students, 
you have your warm up, your main phase, your cool down, and your stretch. And the stretch is pretty much like a five, 10 minutes, which is not enough sometimes for the whole work. That's why I love yoga. That's why I like yoga because it really helps you to maintain the mobility and the strength in balance. So we we don't have tight muscles that is gonna put on the stress our joints. That's why now it's great that now more and more sports people, like uh, dif different disciplines in sports are making part of their routine yoga because they know the benefits and they see as much range of mobility you have, you can be faster, your muscles activate as well with more power. So it's great that now the industry is taking yoga as a part of their, their training. So that is the key. If you are not flexible, try yoga, not to be flexible to be mobile. And this is the key, don't worry. And I always say, because sometimes, you know, we go to our yoga classes and we're fighting and stretching with pain as much as we can. As soon as you stretch with pain, your nervous system will contract more your muscles because it's a protection of the nervous system for your body. So you won't release. So we, that's why we have to have a deep breath, relax through the pose, don't force the body, don't go to the point it's painful because when the, the start to be painful, the nervous system contract the muscle. It doesn't allow it to extend. So we have to be gentle with the breath, allow ourselves to relax and release into the stretch. And maybe some of us, we don't have time to do everyday yoga, but we can do it from time to time. It doesn't really matter because not everybody has the same goals. If you are an architect, for example, you just want to maintain your mobility. You want to release the tension to be all day in this sitting at work, stuff like that. So you just want a nice release of your body. And this will give you, still you have the benefits, but remember, you are gaining mobility. And how you're gonna notice that when you fall forward to tie your shoes or, or pick up something, you will be faster, you will have more stability. Also, for example, most of the injuries that we have in our daily activities happen in the kitchen when you turn around to get something because your muscles are tight. So a fast movement, even if it was too fast, it still can hurt you back but because your muscles are tight. And so that's why it's important to do yoga, to stretch your body. You don't have to do a, a specific type of yoga. Most of the, of the yoga uh, styles have the same principles, which is extend your back muscles, your front muscles, your legs, your arms, so it will help you. That's why we create these mini routines that are easy to follow, and you can do it in 10, in 15 minutes, but they will give you great benefits. And remember when you are practicing yoga, forget about to be flexible. Don't get stressed about that. Enjoy the stretch, enjoy the release of your muscles. And the most important, remember, remember, is that you are keeping and maintaining your mobility and the well-being of your joints. As tighter muscles we have, the joint have more pressure and it has more stress. So that's why it's important to lend our muscles, no matter how flexible we are. It's just about mobility and well-being of our body. So I hope this is helpful for you. And now you feel like, oh, I'm not flexible. Take it off, take your yoga class, do your mini routine, wherever is accessible for you, just to stretch your body. So let me know what you think about this video. And if you have another subject that you want to talk about it, please let me know. Thank you for joining us and see you in another video. Remember that you can find us in Instagram as a Sacred Bird Studio, as well in Facebook. You can follow our courses and classes at sacredbirdstudio.ie. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave us your comment. Have a nice day. And remember, yoga is for inflexible people. Take care. See you later.